today we will have a discussion on a very important topic tuberculous otitis media tuberculous otitis media is now the recent question for uh, setting in the exams in this year also there was a question in uh, aims aims and last year there was a question in pga the tuberculous otitis media why it is important is we need to know about the characteristics of tuberculous otitis media which differentiate it from others so normally the characteristics will be the patient will have multiple perforations multiple perforation and even though he has a perforation there won't be any pain so there will be a painless one since we know that tuberculosis is a sterile pus so there won't be any uh, there won't be any uh, uh, pain and all so it will be a painless multiple perforation and usually the tympanic membrane mucosa will be a pale looking one pale looking a tympanic membrane mucosa but the hearing loss and the complications will be very high okay there will be a disproportionate hearing loss disproportionate hearing loss so these are the various characteristic features with the tuberculous otitis media is concerned so in the exam what they will ask is all of the following statements are true regarding tuberculous otitis media except or they may ask you uh, a patient uh, say a 20 year old male uh, or uh, some 40 year old male presented in opt with a ear discharge and on examination he had some multiple perforation no history of trauma then you may need to rule out a tuberculous otitis media so these are the characteristics characteristics of a tuberculous otitis media very very important for your exam purpose okay there will be a multiple perforation which is usually painless and the pale looking at tympanic membrane and a disproportionate hearing loss these four points very very important to rule out a tuberculous otitis media right so what happens in a tuberculous otitis media how there is a tuberculous otitis media spreading so this is the tympanic membrane and this is the middle ear so normally what happens is the usually the tuberculous otitis media is a secondary to pulmonary tuberculosis it's not a primary it's usually secondary to pulmonary tuberculosis so what happens is the infection usually enters into the middle ear through this eustachian tube how it enters it enters either through the eustachian tube or it enters by the through the blood vessels also through the blood vessels also it can enter okay once the infection once the tuberculous infection is inside the middle ear okay we all know that the tuberculous infection what it does it will go inside the mucosa inside the submucosa once it is inside the submucosa it lead to formation of various tubercles inside the submucosa okay it leads to formation of various tubercles or some granulations inside the middle ear mucosa okay what happens is the tubercles later they caseate you all know that there will be caseus okay and they caseate and it will turn into necrosis this all we know it happens in all tuberculosis so once it causes necrosis it causes it causes erosion of the tympanic membrane causing a perforation it causes erosion of a tympanic membrane leading to some perforations and usually the perforations will be a multiple perforation not a single perforations there will be multiple perforation there will be erosions of the tympanic membrane multiple in various layers and also it doesn't end there it may even lead to complications like once it causes necrosis it causes erosion of the ossicles inside we know that we have a incurs we have a stapes in the we have a stapes we have a malleus incurs and stapes so the it can even cause erosion of the ossicles also right so once it causes erosion of the ossicles the patient may land up even in a complication or it may even cause a facial nerve palsy also the facial nerve palsy is again very common in a tuberculous otitis media okay so as we deal with the tuberculosis we need to first rule out the causes for a pulmonary tuberculosis also we need to proceed with the mantoux test we need to take a x-ray test we need to take a sputum for afb to rule out the pulmonary tuberculosis and specific for ear discharge we can send it uh, we can send the ear discharge for uh pcr analysis for tuberculosis okay we can send it for culture we can send it for pcr analysis or some dna test for a tuberculosis and usually it will be available in 3 to 7 days you can get the result but what is the treatment protocol so now we have find out as a uh, tuberculous otitis media what is the treatment for tuberculous otitis media again this is a mcq being asked okay the treatment is anti tubercular therapy the treatment for a tuberculous otitis media is none other than go ahead with the anti tubercular therapy 
If there is any complication like a mastitis or a facial neoplasy, then it may need a surgery. But the first line for a first line for a tuberculous arteritis media, the treatment is a full course of anti-tubercular therapy. Okay, this is a very important exam point of view question. They may ask you the you name. You need to know the characteristics a patient uh, presenting with a multiple painless perforations. And as I said, why it is a pain, uh, why it is a multiple perforation? There will be caseation around different areas. And tuberculosis usually we call it a sterile pus, so that mucosa will appear like a pale one. And there will be severe disproportionate hearing loss. Even though the hole is small, even though there can be multiple holes multiple holes seen in the tympanic membrane usually the picture will be like this okay even though we can see a multiple holes but the perf but the hearing loss will be more uh, compared to a normal perforation that is because uh, that is because of the involvement of the granulation and the necrosis of the even the ossicles inside okay so there will be disproportionate hearing loss and as we know the treatment is anti tubercular therapy so this is a very very important exam point of view question uh, and uh, if you have any doubts in this topic, you can just WhatsApp me in my number. Or for instant discussion, you can join my Facebook page or a Telegram page, Dr. Ajay is exploring ENT. And you can even subscribe my YouTube channel for daily uploading of videos. Thank you.